All right, hello there. I am Puppo One, and this is SmackDown. Here comes the pain, and we're getting ready to start part eight of the Crafts Championship. And part eight is going to be a six-man survival match to determine the order of the challengers for the Crafts Championship. But everybody will have max. Um, finishers so let's basically go into again what that means is everybody gonna have five starting finishers as well as five max finishers so yeah don't be interested and also for now on the Iron Man matchups which is how the title matches work the title matches are Iron Man for the um, crafts championship and everybody will start off with five finishers as well yeah, so that's a new thing that's going to be going on. I just found it to be a little bit more entertaining than when they start out with no finishers and stuff like that. Especially because Iron Man match is only 10 minutes. So, like, this is a way to, like, oh, my dumbass. I forgot that it's, the match is already set up. It's right here. It's already set up. So, let me go back, 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 back. And then select. Oh, wait. Damn, I forgot which order it's supposed to be in. Oh, Red Hood. Okay. There we go. Boom. Spider-Man. Okay. Who's the next one? Hulk. Okay, then Venom, then Superman. So. Oh, you gotta be. Sh okay. Okay, bro. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go right back on the freaking game and we're just gonna start the freaking match. I don't know how the heck that just happened. Hopefully, the stuff is set up. It should be set up for everybody. We'll know once the match starts. If it's set up or not. Because if it's not set up, this will be unforgettable. Okay, and the KO is still set to be turned on, so let's get started. Now, I am planning on doing 32 men one day tournaments for the King of the Coliseum 2 game. So. That's probably going to do that either later on sometime today. Because after we get done with this, I am going to do the Custom Robo Part 27, I think, for the walkthrough for the Grand Battle. Anyway, let's get started. Let's go. I really can't do commentary when there's six people or four people in the ring sometimes. Because I can't really follow the action. The person with the most falls, basically, the the person who who's the last man standing, he will get the what's the name in this. He will get the sixth spot for the gauntlet or whatever like that. As in, he'll be the sixth title defense or whatever like that. But the other people, the person with the most elimination. He will be, you know,
Venom body is that freaking um what's the name? That yellow now. Nobody else is really as hurt as him. I don't Counter the freaking the um funnel. Getting him with some stuff. Where his body is now. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So we're just going to put it in order of what what order they're going to be challenging and stuff like that. So right now we got him at one. He was the first one eliminated. Oh, and that's also a fall for um who was it? Who got that fall? Who eliminated him? That was the F five that eliminated him. Yeah, that was the F five. So yeah, we gotta give that to Venom. Yeah, Venom Venom got the elimination. I forgot. That was Venom who got the elimination. Because it was the F five and he's the only one with that finisher. Alright. And I forgot I gotta save it after every time earlier that it freaking messed up on me while I left off the train. Alright. Wait, let me save it. I keep on forgetting to do that. 
So now number two is Fireman. Damn it. And I was Superman who hit the spear, so who pick up the pistol? <laughs> Thanks to Batman's freaking Venom's arm, body, and head are all messed up because that, that arm damage, you know that had to came from Batman's freaking submission finisher. That Mexican arm lock submission. And he's gonna go for it on the Hulk right now. I don't think he's going by a submission. Oh wait, damn it. I, I keep on forgetting to do that. That was Superman. Again, Superman. Again. Superman with two finishes. Two eliminations. And number three is going to be... What's the name? Unless Batman becomes the last man standing or whatever like that and take out Venom and Superman... I think he may get, he gonna get fourth or third, or whatever like that. Cause let's say Superman win right, Superman is automatically gonna be the person with the most falls, but the person with the second most falls would probably be Venom. You know, if Batman doesn't eliminate Venom or Superman, but he, I would he. He better eliminate Venom because he eliminates Superman. He's gonna have to also eliminate Venom, you know, or something like that. Oh wait, did I even put? Yeah, I put um Hulk on there. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk was minding his own business going against Batman and then freaking Superman just swung on him and <laughs> he immediately went for the rock bottom. Uh oh, he's getting ready to really set up the finisher. You know, after that comes his finisher. Oh, let him get out of it.
got the pencil. I told you not to trust freaking Superman. Man. I told you not to trust it. So Batman doesn't have no finishes, but he gets fourth place. So good on Batman right there. He's number four. Superman with three freaking finishes. Like, automatically he was going to be, you know, four or five. Because there's only two of them left. But, shit, I may just give him five if Venom beats him just because he had three finishes. decided how I was going to go about these things. I just didn't think that only two people were going to have uh, elimination. Uh oh. Uh, he's going to hit him with the freaking spirit. Oh, I thought he was going for the spirit. Damn, people drunk kicking him. Uh, oh, that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to wear down his chest with the kicks and stuff like that to make sure that he ain't going to be able to kick out. But it's blocked by Venom. Venom may eliminate him because now Superman got worked towards the finisher. But you don't necessarily need a finisher to win it, though. Oh, uh, that DDT. And he's super hurt right now. He just took two drop kicks to the chest. That guy done kick. Oh. Strangle him. Oh, that front drop kick right there. If this F5 lands, maybe a KO. I predicted a KO by F5. <laughs> and it happened. Yo. It was a pretty good guess. Fit him with coming out number six. This man's number five. Man, that was that was actually pretty decent. Anything or do anything else? Wait, what in the world? Uh, oh no! What
basically how I do things is I'm using the default character instead of starting straight from scratch. Because the default character has everything perfectly at 40 when they start off, right? So that's how I go about creating my characters. I use that to start the stuff and like figure and stuff like that. And wait. Why did that change nothing? Appearance. Um, wait, let me see. Bio. Because I'm thinking of making Wonder Woman next. That, that's why I'm. But let me see something. Do I literally have to go on to the what's the thing to do the also it's not because it starts off at 40 my bad that I picked the default character to when I'm designing shit it's because of this right here see that's 99 experience points now let me show you if I press new and then I go to experience you only start off with 250 so you can't get it up to 80 for everything and stuff so that's why I start off with the default, because the default has a 40 and like, like sometime in the future, I may want to do like something different with like the, um, with the characters and like make their like attributes in a certain way. But right now everybody just have a perfect 80 and like the match has been great so far. Cause I want to like, cause like since strength is about how much damage you can do and stuff like that and um what's it what is the other one um endurance is about how much damage you could take i was gonna make it symbolize like what the actual like comic characters have like the one like give the hulk like 10 for strength you know a 10 for in 10 or 9 or 8 and a half for like endurance or something you know hit give if i were to create flash give him like a 10 for like speed or whatever and counter and stuff like that his speed and counter would be a 10 or something like that but like certain attributes are better than others on this game and that's why i hate it strength and endurance are the best ones to have then right behind that is probably submission because you can hold your submissions for longer and you can escape them quicker then technique because it's for countering and then the speed is just there to be there, I guess. I don't really see how great speed can be for you. Because I don't see, like, if a move supposed to take a long time to execute, it's going to take a long time to execute no matter what the speed is. Talk about with the strikes and stuff like that. Stuff is just going to take a long time regardless. Like, even like a running attack. They're all going to perform the same no matter what your speed is, in my opinion. I guess you could tie up quicker or something. I don't know. But I'm trying to see if I could change. I don't get how I can change the bio of the character to let's see something real quick. No, 
freaking light heavyweight would be Wonder Woman. I'm trying to figure out why the why is it Shit doesn't make no sense to me. I'm trying to figure out how is I supposed to do it where I could change the the stuff to female and stuff like that. Cause I changed the the gender and stuff like that, but shit still looks like it's you know with the guy and stuff. Let me see something. I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete. Oh, wait. I could just I could just go back on here. The, I ain't going to have to delete nothing. Wait, why the fuck ain't nothing on here for it? Delete it. Let me make sure that this is... No, don't delete that. Edit. Hulk. Logic is... No, not logic. Attributes. Copy. Default. And make this as default as well. Successful copy. Base model. How do I change the base model once I start? There's no weird way to change the base model after you go on here. That's kind of dumb, though. Let's see something. Go to, to appearance and sample model. Is that pretty much Wonder Woman? Aren't you having to do anything? Damn, why her head so big? You see that? Look, look at the other characters. Like, look at all the other characters. Like, even um, the one that kind of looks like Wonder Woman. Then you got this character whose head is way too big. It's not a human-sized head on that person. Cowgirl. And then... Maybe that would be Wonder Woman. That one tall as shit. Probably make Wonder Woman based off of that character. No one with a big ass head for no reason. So if I were to create Wonder Woman, I would have to number seven or what was the other one? Number three, number seven. She got the figure and she got the height. Number three had the height and figure as well. No, she ain't got the height, but, like, one woman wouldn't be a thousand feet tall, though. Let's see something. They got her at 5'9". And then what was that, number seven?
seven feet, yeah. <laughs> Wonder Woman ain't no damn seven feet. Uh, it's messed up that I can't really do the what's the name stuff with the, um, so the base model is irrechangeable after you, after you save and stuff like that. Like, the attribute system wouldn't be so annoying to me had you be able to go back and change them. I don't know why the heck they're permanent with the attribute system. Because, like, if I was playing, like, the um, season mode or some shit like that, I would like I would like my attributes to be situated towards my upcoming opponent. Like, let's say my opponent has strong endurance and strength. But its submission is low as shit. I will, I will, I will go and change my character and put all my attribute points towards my endurance and submission, so that I could take him out quicker. You know, that's what I would do and stuff like that. I would go there and I'll switch my shit around for my character so I could take him out like that. But it just, it just is what it is with this game. Yeah, we can go out of it now. Can't give no 80 overall to the freaking um, female characters is what's going on. That sucks. Well, I was always really thinking about creating more people, but it still sucks that I can't really do it the way I would want to do it, though. So, once again, congrats to Venom and... I'll say Superman as well, because Superman got the most freaking finishes with three, and Venom had the second most with two, and he got the win. And everybody else, Batman, great job outlasting, you know, Red Hood, Spider-Man, and Hulk, because he had the best help for, like, the majority of the match. And then his shit went from being the best to one of the worst. <laughs> Real quick. I think it was that running um running Yakuza kick in the corner by um by um Venom that turned his whole entire body orange and his head orange at the same time, no less. So that was a good thing. That was a well, that was a good match just to say. I care less trying to be unbiased. But yeah, next one will be part nine. Yeah, so this is the end of part eight. And let's see, because I got to go back on here because we need to look at one more thing. Okay, so I put X's after they got the stuff and wherever like that. Okay, and I put W's behind them. Okay, I put their place and put the W's as well. I mean, I don't really need to put winner right here, but I'll put the word winner. So people know that he was the one who won and stuff like that. Even though the numbers that you see right there is telling you the place of everybody oh, and with the the way that will be um the order of the gauntlet or whatever like that. Yeah, I took up enough time with this. Took an extra fifteen unnecessary minutes, but eh, kind of necessary, kind of unnecessary at the same time. So it's the next one later. Hope you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, all those other good things.